Hey, what's going on everybody? Just picked up a Smart ATO Micro for my little tank over here. Got a uh, Mr. Aqua 7 gallon. And right now I'm running the uh, the Tunes or the Tunzi or however you want to say that. I'm running the, the Nano on my setup right now. And I decided to try out the Smart ATO since it's a sensor operated and not a float valve because of course we went to Vegas and my float valve decided to stay on and it flooded my tank luckily I didn't have that much in the uh, reserve so didn't do too much damage but it definitely affected the tank and getting ready to go out again for a little while so I decided why not get this since it's got the no moving parts to fail also like the uh, little magnet pieces here and, and the size of it because I think it will go well with my tank. So let's go ahead and open this piece up. Got our warranty information there and uh, the manual. We've got the sensor right there. I'm gonna show you about the size of that with my finger. Pretty small. And there's the magnet that the tubing will slide into. And then this that and then uh, right there is where your power cables will plug in. So it's only one power cable, I believe. And here is the pump. This thing is tiny. It is a DC water pump. And wow, 130 to 280 liters per hour. I'm not sure how much that is. I think it's around 75 gallons. I'm probably off on that, but it's a tiny one, really tiny. Like here's my, <laughs> here's my fingers. I don't have huge hands. I have normal size hands, but that thing is tiny. And then there's a little uh, like an air valve there to break the seal. So when it goes up, it doesn't come back down. And this is the power supply. So just your basic AC adapter. And our tubing. So I'm going to set this bad boy up. And we'll take a look at it. So I figured I'd give you guys a quick side-by-side -side comparison to the two auto top offs and you can see the huge difference <laughs> and that's the nano ATO by Tunzi and this is the smart way tinier one complaint I do have or just a minor thing so we can set that down there for a second while I grab the magnet is uh, the magnet's strong I don't have a complaint about that it definitely grabs uh, but I'm trying to run my cable like underneath the filter there and as you can see when I pull it it definitely wants to turn so if anything comes into contact with that cord and it's not like anchored down or in place it could get pulled, and if you don't notice it, um, it could have a negative effect on your water level. So just FYI, um, if you can secure that somehow, just or just be conscious of it, because that 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 does move fairly easily. I mean, just, the magnet holds it on the the glass, but it doesn't keep it necessarily from turning. So another point of comparison here is your your box for the Tunzi versus the Smart which is a heck of a lot thinner. It's only got two cables here you've got three running out of it. It's a lot thicker and then you've also got your power uh, cables and this is thinner as well. I'm assuming you're gonna lose or use a less electrical but then again you're running a sensor so 
maybe with that flow valve. I don't know the uh, the electrical side of things, but again, uh, the pump is significantly smaller. Let's see if I can pull this one out of here and give you a comparison shot. But I think that was a, a pretty good view there. I think you saw how much bigger that one is. Funny thing is though, the tubing for this one is bigger. All right, so a while later, I finally got this thing all set up and uh, the way I wanted. So we've got the sensor over there. Uh, I did the return line there. I may need to adjust that uh, siphon brake there. I don't know if it needs to be straight or if it, I think I should be good there. So anyway, I also wound up cleaning up underneath the tank, uh, going in, use a lot of those uh, power or the uh, command strips to uh, kind of clean up in there. I'm not sure how much you can tell, but uh, I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, I gotta refill my ATO reservoir, which is a uh, an old uh, container for litter, but you can see how tiny that pump is in there. All right, so I've got it started up here. And as you can see, the LED light is on. I'm gonna try and uh, bring it up to where my water level's at, see if I can't get the pump to turn on. Slowly. All right, and my siphon brake is working there, so that's good. And that's pretty much it when it's running. So my main concern, uh, so I have a seven gallon tank. This little blue LED light is pretty bright. And then again, the mobility of this to, if I hit the cord to adjust on its own. But other than that, I'm really digging the space. Uh, I was able to set my light back a little bit further uh, to clear up some of that space around the rim of the tank. So I do enjoy that. And again, the size difference between the Tunzi and the Smart ATO Micro is, I mean, it's micro. Overall, I like it. This LED, I don't know if that's going to bother me or not when the light goes out. It's kind of like an automatic moonlight, I guess. But if it's in your sump, it's not going to bother anything. But I don't have a sump on this. So those are my thoughts for right now after install. Install was pretty easy, straightforward, nothing complicated.